Proceed with caution when ordering snap-on veneers. Here at Electric Teeth, we do not recommend you buy snap-on veneers over the internet. Continue watching to find out why. Hey, it's John from Electric Teeth here. We assist you in selecting the right dental care products and understanding common dental health care topics. I want to talk about snap-on veneers and why we don't recommend them here at Electric Teeth and why the internet isn't really the best place to source them. Now, snap-on veneers, clip-on veneers, instant veneers, as they are all known, there's a few different names for them, are essentially a cosmetic alternative to getting real dental veneers from a dental professional. They're a way of altering the look of your smile without having to undergo professional dental treatment. These veneers stick to, clip on or around your existing teeth and are designed to cosmetically enhance the look of your teeth. So for the sake of example, let's say you're missing a couple of teeth in your mouth. You're conscious when you go out about missing those teeth. The snap-on veneers are designed to clip over your existing teeth and fill that gap and make it appear to other people that you have your natural teeth. So when you smile, there are no longer gaps in your smile because you have these veneers in place. Now there are a lot of things to consider when it comes to snap-on veneers Then there's a detailed article linked in the description and the top right corner that goes into a lot more depth in this video. But the main thing to be aware of is that you have two primary types of veneers. You have instant and then you have the custom-made snap-on veneers. So the instant ones are a generic style of veneer that has been made to suit most people. You get them, they're designed to fit most mouths, they clip on round the teeth or they stick to the teeth in some way. It's a bit like going into a fancy dress shop to pick up some teeth for a Halloween fancy dress outfit, for example. You then have the custom-made snap-on veneers, and these are the ones that are most popular at the moment. And these custom-made ones involve taking an impression of your teeth, be that the upper or lower jaw or both, and these impressions are then used to make a personalised set of veneers that fit over your existing teeth. So the main purpose to these veneers is to cosmetically enhance your smile. Many of us are worried about how our smiles look. We want to improve it. Perhaps we can't afford the dental treatment needed to address this issue. And these snap-on veneers provide an option to enhance the way we look without all of the trials and tribulations that come with regular, professionally provided dental treatment to adjust your smile. So I've covered some of those key points and I now want to read to you what our in-house dentist, Dr. Gemma Wheeler, has to say on the matter of snap-on veneers. Gemma says, I can see why people want snap-on veneers. In theory, they're an affordable cosmetic option which should not damage the teeth. I like that they are minimally invasive. They do not require drilling of the tooth tissue. But because snap-on veneers are not made by dentists or qualified dental technicians, the end product is not as high quality as you might expect. The appearance is often not as good as promised and the materials used can vary. Not involving a dentist also means that you aren't told about all your options and not given a realistic assessment of what is possible. The removable veneers companies say that the only other option is porcelain veneers, but that is simply not true. There is also the potential for disease to be missed before starting the manufacturing process. Because there is no obvious regulation over these, we do not know whether they are definitely being made from safe materials. Some companies suggest they are using FDA approved materials, but do not outright state what these are. We also do not know what qualifications the people making these products have. There is no way to know that they are being made in a safe and hygienic way. Another big concern is the lack of transparency by the companies making them. They often allude to certified technicians and sometimes even licensed dentists. There is no name associated with these claims. The brands are deliberately vague and do not advertise these professionals openly. For me, I think there is a reason registered dentists don't have their names attached to these brands, and you should consider that too. So there we have it. That's the opinion of a registered dental professional who knows all of the different options available and has actually personally assessed these products available on the market and come to her own conclusions.
Now the most typical way to adjust your smile with professional dental treatment is with veneers, bonding and crowns. And that can be expensive and time consuming and it can actually mean altering your natural teeth in a way that you need to keep up with that treatment throughout the rest of your life. Veneers traditionally need your tooth to be prepared, which means taking a small amount off the surface of the tooth so that the veneers can be stuck to the tooth and give you that cosmetic enhancement that you desire. But you then have to repeat that procedure throughout your life as the veneers break or wear out because they do only last a number of years, typically around 10 to 15 years, maybe a little bit longer, subject uh, to your personal circumstances. So these snap-on veneers are designed to be a temporary cosmetic alternative. In the vast number of cases, they are not designed to be a permanent solution. Now this video isn't designed to call out any one particular brand or manufacturer of snap-on veneers. I'm talking on a very generalized scale about these products. But there are risks associated with snap-on veneers. And this is ultimately the whole point of this video because it's not being widely discussed about these risks that are posed to your oral health as a result of buying these snap-on veneers. When you buy veneers online, there's no real consideration for your oral health. Yes, you may potentially have to answer some questions to say you've got no gum disease, uh, you may have to fill out which teeth are present and which ones are missing, but you are not having a dental professional actually check your teeth over. So if you have got underlying gum disease, if you have got dental decay, you may know about it and not be doing anything about it, or you may not realize you've got this issue. And then wearing those veneers potentially could exacerbate that issue. There are many reports online where people have worn veneers and it's made their situation worse because the bacteria that exists in your mouth from eating and drinking and just naturally occurs will stick to these veneers. Now, while saliva in your mouth will help neutralize this, when you have this bacteria building up between the veneer you're wearing and your natural tooth, that can cause perfect environments for this bacteria to multiply. It can mean that you miss places when you're brushing. There's so many different factors around your oral health being influenced as a result of these products, particularly then if you eat with these veneers in. You're gonna have the pressure of the food being chewed, applying to the veneer, and then in turn, to your tooth. And if these don't align properly, you can find um, that they're gonna cause wear to your teeth. You can potentially find them doing damage uh, because of the uneven pressures. It can affect your bite. And because you have this piece of plastic or acrylic between your natural teeth and the food that you're eating, foodstuffs can get stuck in between the veneer and your natural tooth that could potentially uh, exacerbate decay and cause more problems if you're not taking them out and cleaning them properly. Another negative or risk is how they are actually going to look. Yes, there are lots of great marketing images online that show these perfect smiles with these veneers in. But in reality, you don't know how they're ultimately going to look until you get your own custom ones back. Custom ones are generally going to look a bit better than the instant ones because they are specifically designed for you. But even then, you are taking a risk about what the final look is going to be like. Now, I'm not calling out InstaSmile specifically here, but these are one of the brands of snap-on veneers that I have tried myself personally. And you'll see on screen now some of the before and after shots uh, with me wearing these clip-on veneers. Now, I have quite big teeth naturally, but these teeth make me look even more ridiculous. They just do not look natural at all. The squaring and shape to them, the color tone is all off. These are supposed to improve the look of my smile and I don't know about you, but I think they look worse. Maybe from a distance, you might suggest they look better. But if you've got up close and personal with someone a couple of feet away, maybe you're having a natural conversation, you can clearly see these are not natural teeth. They just don't reflect the light in the correct way. There's a consistent color to them and your teeth aren't like that. They reflect the light differently. There's no natural break between the teeth. They're so they're all one piece of plastic, they're fixed together and natural teeth have small little breaks between them. And unfortunately, they just look comical in my personal opinion. And the people I have spoken to about these often have similar experiences. Some people are very happy. Now, me personally, I'm not missing any teeth. My teeth are in 
pretty good shape overall. So for others, I can completely see how this can be perceived as a benefit. But the fact is you're paying this money up front for these products and you just don't know what it's gonna be like. And then if you don't like what you actually get, you're kind of stuck with it and you've spent quite a bit of money to get these veneers that you're potentially not gonna wear. And then you have the materials that are used. So I've sort of touched upon this when I was talking about the overall look of them. The material is like plastic or acrylic type material. It just doesn't have the same um, reaction to light or, or look of a natural tooth. A dental professional will use composite bonding or porcelain is perhaps the gold standard really um, when it comes to things like veneers. And these have uh, a pearlescent kind of tone to them that matches most closely the natural uh, enamel of your teeth and with these veneers you simply don't get those really small little nuances in the color and shape and profile that you get with materials like porcelain and unfortunately these veneers can look really quite fake you also just don't have the choice of materials if you're looking to overhaul your smile, how it looks cosmetically. With a cosmetic dentist, you can talk through the different materials and the different options you've got. And you've got choices to suit different budgets, different mouths, different tooth colors, and things like that. So you can find what works best. With veneers, you're kind of stuck with what the brand offers. You only have that one option in most instances, and you just don't get that more natural and authentic look to your smile by fitting these veneers. And then there is the cost in terms of, of the risks as well really because some veneers are cheaper than others. Those instant ones that are not custom made are the cheapest to go for. But if you're going for a set of full clip-on veneers for both upper and lower arches, it can get expensive. Now to give you an idea of price, for a single arch you're looking at somewhere between $399 or $750 or that's £250 to £600 depending on the company. Now, if you went for both arches, you're looking at somewhere between $470 right through to $2,190. Or in pounds, that's around about £350 through to £1,100. So those are quite expensive for a little bit of plastic that fits over and around your teeth. So some of the main pros or reasons why people may want to opt for snap-on veneers are the fact that they are temporary. This is not a permanent alteration to your teeth. So you can pop them in and out when you like. You may not want to wear them when you're at home. Fair enough, you can take them out. You may want to go out and visit friends or family and you can pop them in and people will think you've got this lovely natural smile. With veneers or crowns, they are a permanent alteration to your natural teeth. Another potential pro is that there are options on the market that are designed for semi-permanent wear. And what this means is that you can actually wear them for tasks such as eating. Traditionally, you should not eat with snap-on veneers in, but there are some particular products that are designed to allow you to eat particularly soft foods. You wouldn't want to eat uh, a toffee apple or a toffee sweet or maybe crunch into a hard lollipop or something like that with it. But there are some veneers that are allowing you to actually eat with these still fitted to your teeth. So you could go to a function like a wedding or a work do and still be able to eat in the presence of others with these veneers in. Another perceived benefit is the cost. The upfront cost of these is often a lot less than the traditional dental alternative so veneers and crowns can be very expensive you pay per tooth and the different materials will all have a bearing on the overall cost the cost of uh, snap-on veneers tends to be much more cost effective and you can alter more teeth for less money another pro is the fact that you can buy them online you don't actually have to go out anywhere to get them so if you're afraid of the dentist you don't like going to see the dentist or you've got a fear of going out you're conscious of your teeth you can simply do everything from the comfort of your own home. You can order them online. The impression kits and everything you need are delivered to your door. You can then arrange for the collection and for them to be sent back. And then within a matter of weeks, these veneers are delivered to your doorstep. That summarizes some of the key reasons why people might want to go for veneers, these snap-on star, and, and some of the key risks. And I personally think the risks outweigh the pros. Obviously, that's your decision to make. We're just giving you our opinion based on the research we've done um, and our own experiences. To give a tiny bit more context, there is a product called Snap-on Smile. Now, this is a dentist-provided product, 
and it acts in a similar way to kind of snap-on veneers but it's something that only dentists can provide and generally speaking it's designed to be a more temporary solution whilst uh, an individual is perhaps healing from um, surgery can't yet get uh, veneers or crowns that they need or the implants that they might be opting for to uh, make those cosmetic alternatives to their smile. Now that can only be sourced from a dentist and often the term snap on smile, um, which is this particular brand only available from dentists, is associated with these uh, cheaper and inferior uh, snap on veneers, but they are very different. You're looking at a cost around about $1,500 per arch with the dentist provided snap on smile. Or in the UK, it's about £1,000 per arch, maybe £1,700 for both arches, a little bit of a saving. So it gives you an idea of cost, but they are similar, but different. The snap-on smile comes from the dentist. It's a brand term. Um, and then you have the snap-on veneers, which are similar, but different, but realistically inferior. As I've already suggested, there is a full written article that accompanies this video linked in the description and in the top right corner. That's been written by a registered dental professional, our own in-house dentist, Dr. Gemma Wheeler. So that rounds up this video and gives some insight as to why we do not recommend snap on veneers. The internet is not the place to go for them. Do go and see a registered dental professional to discuss the options available to you based on your personal circumstances, including things like your own budget. For more videos like this, please do click subscribe. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.